Hello everybody, I'm Lance Koike and today we're talking about the dumbbell row and how sometimes people seem to be just kind of throwing their neck and their head to one direction to get the row done. Um, I, you know, I've, we've talked before about how the core is important, but how the core is not just your abdominal muscles or your deep back muscles, but it's also everything that goes all the way up to your cranium. Um, and, and includes your ribs and all sorts of other stuff. So we need to make sure that you're getting these positions correct. Um, I, I have one client in particular I picture doing this. Um, basically, it's kind of like you're supporting your arm for that dumbbell row. You got your dumbbell in this hand over here. And then as you're rowing, you just kind of just tilt your head Oftentimes it falls down too, but you just kind of tilt it away from the row and it just kind of looks like you're doing the row with that. Um, sometimes you might see it tilt the other way, but usually if the head is tilting, in, in my opinion, you know, I haven't run any numbers, but in my opinion, you're going to be tilting your head away. Or if it's going the other way, your shoulder will shrug instead of your head just coming up. And we'll talk about that in the future. Today, we're talking about tilting away. Um, basically, all you need to do is you got to straighten it out. So the, my favorite way to kind of get into the correct position is you're just going to sit there and you're going to think, I want to be as long as I can from head to tail. OK, and as I elongate all of that, everything just kind of like the curves uh, put themselves where they need to be, uh, you, you know, if I do this, I'm shorter than if I do this. So that cue generally takes away a bunch of the, the messy stuff. So what does it look like? If I'm here and I'm rowing, this is maybe a little less exaggerated. Then I just try to get long from head to tail like this. And then I have my row. Now my neck doesn't feel quite as tight. Um, and I'll be able to feel more in my rowing muscles. I also want to show you it from this side just because I know this one's kind of subtle. Um, it might look like this. Okay, and then when we get long, it straightens out. Okay. Uh, again, core stuff is important. Positioning is important. You need to make sure your neck it, it has a normal curve, isn't too flat, but also isn't, you know, curving in ways that are <laughs> a little bit unreasonable because you've got a lot of nerves that come out of that cervical spine. You've got all those things running down through your arm that are supplying your rowing muscles. You want to keep them as free as you can so that you can recruit as many motor units as possible and really train your muscle.